Let's continue our work with writing equations. Remember, when you write a linear equation, you will use the format mx plus b equals y. Given a line in each of these cases, you need to identify the slope, then the y-intercept, and then put it all together by writing an equation for the given line. Take a look at each line you've been given. Let's start with number five. As we look at this line, we notice, moving our eyes from left to right, that it is pitching downward, sloping downhill. This is going to have a negative slope. Number six, as you move on to that, this goes uphill. This will have a positive slope. So will seven. But if you look at eight as well as nine, both pitch downhill, moving left to right. They will have negative slopes. And let's check out the y-intercept in each. As you look at the y-intercept for number five, it's here at a negative two. That's our anchor point where our line crosses our y-axis. For number six, a positive three. For number seven, a positive two. For number eight, we anchor at a positive one. And for number nine, our intercept is a negative two. Let's complete one of these or two of these together, and then you can work on your own. Let's take a look and start with number five. Obviously, this has a negative slope. It's our job to calculate that ratio. We can put our pencil on negative two and start at our y-intercept, or you can grab the point furthest to the left. But we go down negative one over positive one. Test the pattern again. Down one over one, down one over one. It's consistent. We have a slope of negative one over one, which of course is negative one. Put it all together in equation, negative one times x minus two equals y. Now let's do one more together. Let's go all the way to the bottom to number nine. Once again, if you're looking for the slope, you may start at the y-intercept, or I like to start sometimes at the point furthest to the left. Here we go. Down three. We always move up or down first. That gives us a negative three for our delta y. To the right, one. Down three, to the right, one. Down three, and to the right, one. It's consistent. We get negative three over one, which is the slope of negative three. Put it all together in an equation. Negative three times x minus two equals y. Now it's your turn to complete problem number six, seven, and eight on your own. Pause the video. And when you're ready to check your work, turn the video back on to see the correct answers. At this point, pause the video. Here are the correct answers for six, seven, and eight. You should have gotten a slope of two, an intercept of plus three or positive three, and your equation two x plus three equals y. For number seven, you should have gotten two for your slope, positive two for your intercept, two x plus two equals y for your equation, and finally for number eight, a negative one for your slope, a positive one for your intercept, 
And as an equation, negative 1x plus 1 equals y. This concludes the video for this lesson.